Good morning, friends, and welcome to the pre-market view. It's going to be an important day as we have uh, important expiry uh, on the FNO segment as well as uh, important results like uh, ICICI Bank and PNB. Uh, first, talking about the global markets, the U.S. markets were down uh, sharply by about 0.5 to 0.6 percent as the uh, Q4 GDP data uh, that came out were not uh, impressive at all. In fact, the GDP contracted by about 0.1 percent as against the expectations of uh, almost 1 percent kind of a growth. Uh, same was the case with the European markets. They were also down about 0.5 to 0.75 percent. And when we look at the Asian markets today, the Japan is down about 0.7 percent and most of the other markets are also showing some weakness as the industrial production data that came out from Japan were weak. Uh, talking about the flows, the FIs were net biased to the tune of 906 crore whereas the domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of about 1096 crore. Also in another important development, the euro has shot up to about 1.35 against the dollar and even the Brent crude has shot up to 115 which is not a, a comforting uh, level for uh, our markets. Uh, and uh, since we have an important expiry, uh, let me invite Shrevel to take us through important uh, f and cues, ideas and strategies that we could have in the f and markets. Good morning friends, let's have a view at derivatives. Friends, what we have seen is that market has been witnessing a huge intraday whipshaws and for past couple of trading sessions we have seen it's been trading into a narrow range of maybe say around 6,030 on the lower side and on higher side 6,100. What we have seen in yesterday's trade is that FIS have continued to, uh, continued to add positions in futures and options segment and they were net by, by around more than 1100 crores in yesterday's trade. Now, if we talk about the PCR ratio, it's been hovering near 1.04 mark and we have seen some long positions have been accumulated just before the day of expiry. Now, the implied volatility has been almost flat or has say increased marginally. So, that's been in clearly indicating that market would continue to remain volatile and uncertain as we have finally approached the D-Day, that is the uh, expiry day. And on the options front, we have seen that the activity has squeezed down to the six thousand, has squeezed down to six thousand February call as well as put option. And on uh, current month, uh, from current month perspective, six thousand put option has witnessed a good activity. Whereas on the higher side, six thousand one hundred February call and put option and 6,200 February call and put option has seen a good activity. So what we feel is that market would be still languishing in this broad range and uh, we feel that uh, expiry would be a bit dull. Talking about the stocks from the intraday perspective, Ambuja Cement is looking positive. So one can go along with support of 197 rupees 05 paisa. Lupin is also looking good. So one can maintain a support of 590 rupees 40 paisa and uh, JSW Steel is looking weak, so one can go short with resistance of 862 rupees 75 paisa. Thank you. Here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. Uh, first of all, the offer for sale of Oil India has been cleared and it's going to start tomorrow. That's on 1st of Feb uh, February. And uh, this would help the government uh, mobilize almost about 3,000 crore. The exact rising would be known today. But since we have a positive outlook on the stock and the fact that the government has taken few initiatives on the oil reforms front, uh, this would be an interesting opportunity for investors. So we strongly advise uh, investors to go for this offer for sale. Important results announcements. Uh, first of all, ICICI Bank, where we are looking at a net profit of about 2060 crore. Remember, it has been reporting extremely good set of numbers for the past three to four quarters. And this time around, there is also a buzz that there could be a bonus announcement in ICICI Bank, but this is not uh, confirmed. So watch out for some action in ICICI Bank. Allahabad Bank, we are looking at a net profit of 394 crore, which would be about 30% kind of a YOY decline. And in case of PNB, we are looking at a net profit of 1102 crore, which would mean a decline of 4%. But since some of the PSU banks which have announced the numbers, the NPL quality has not been great, particularly for PNB. There are concerns that the NPL provisioning could be on a higher side, so there could be some uh, negative reaction from the market. Gale India, some positive news as the US has allowed the Gale to ship shale gas uh, in India, uh, making an exception to the, its export policy, which would allow Gale to import almost about 3.5 million tons per annum starting from 2017-18 for almost about two decades. So this is positive for Gale, one can go long there with a stop loss of 332 and a target of about 349 to about 356. 
SEBI has dispersed off uh, insider trading case against uh, the Suzlon promoters and officials. Positive for Suzlon, one can go long there with a stop loss of 20.75 and a target of about 21.75 to about 22.25. Aditya Birla New is looking at expanding its uh, uh, capacity in fertilizer in Uttar Pradesh and they are looking at pumping in about 4000 crore. So one can go long on Aditya Birla New with a stop loss of 1140 and a target of about 1198 to about 1218. CAC some positive news as finally the state government has allowed it to increase the tariff by almost about 8 paisa which would be the fourth installment uh, of such price hike. Uh, so positive for CESC one can go along with a stop loss of 309 and a target of about 325 to about 330 rupees. Central Bank of India would see a fund infusion to the tune of about 2406 crore by issuing the preferential shares to the government. So this is positive for Central Bank one can go along with a stop loss of 81.25 and a target of about 85 to about 87. That's it from all of us friends. Have a nice trading session and see you tomorrow at the same time.